can you see this problem hello yes sir this problem can you see yes sir yes sir yeah so this is also a similar type of problem but uh, this uh, you can uh, also start from here so what you have here you have a pipeline again which is further have branches okay so this is your point one one to the one pipeline then here you have another pipeline then you have another one here then you have this point six and this one so how this fluid is flowing this way here this side and this side this side and let's say direction here is this and another one is this side uh, it is given in this particular problem here that your data is given to you, your length is given, your pressure at point one is also given. So you also have pressure at point one is 3000 kilopascal. You know the pressure here. Pressure at point five and point six, you have 100 kilopascal, means that is the atmospheric pressure, you can say. You have uh, you have the pressure at P5 is 100 kilopascal and P6 also you have 100 kilopascal. So you have the pressure right at all uh, this point also and all those points also. Uh, you have viscosity because it's water here and uh, then you have length and diameter of each of the pipes. You are uh, requested to find all pressures, means only the pressure at, what is the pressure at point 2 and point 3, junction 3 and junction 4. Uh, you want to find this, what are these pressures? You have to find P2, you have to find P3, you have to find P4 and velocities. You have to also calculate what is the velocity, let's say velocity in 5.2 then velocity in 523 and velocity in 524 then velocity in 534 velocity in 546 and velocity in 535 so you have to calculate these velocity that how much is the flow rate aapko pressure diya hai you are supposed to calculate the uh, flow rates okay so again, uh, your concept is same. You will apply your energy balances first. Okay, you will apply your the means at the energy balance. So let's start from point one and point two. So first part, the energy balance you want to apply first. So energy balance uh, you have to apply between. Point one and point two. This is point one and point two. You can write for that. So energy here you will have P1 upon rho G. Again, same equation. You have V1 square upon 2G Z1 P2 upon rho G. Then you have here V2 square upon 2G z2 and plus a head loss so this is actually your energy balance between point one and point two okay so for one and two is one particular pipeline here so you have given the length of that length of that is given to you thousand meter and diameter is 0 0.1 meter that is the given to you uh, P1 is given to you, V1 you have to calculate, then V1, V2. This is your one of the 
the equation here. Now, what about Z1 and Z2? So this pipeline is just a, it's a horizontal pipeline. So the elevation is the same. So all of them are in the same plane, actually. So your Z1 equal to Z2. So both will get canceled. OK? Now, what about V1 and V2? Because this diameter of a uh, pipeline is this. So this is your point 1. This is your point 2. And diameter is D. So its diameter of this particular pipeline is not getting changed. So whatever mass is coming in, same mass is going out. So in this case, if you say your mass balance in pipe 1, so mass balance in pipe 1 or continuity equation in pipe 1 would be this one. This is your mass conservation or you can say continuity equation. Whatever is coming at point 1, same thing will go out to point 2. So and the diameter is same. So uh, here you can write your uh, pi by 4 uh, d1 square v1. And again, you have pi by 4 d2 square v2. So your d1 equal to d2. So this uh, your uh, from here, you will get here. Uh, your v1 would be equal to your v2 from this okay so from here because this is equal to your t1 equal to your d2 so in this case your uh, actually uh, is this fine uh, for all of you or the some of you have some doubt in this yes it's fine because first you have um, you have applied energy equations after that you need the several term your velocity so your diameter of the pipe is not getting changed. So your volumetric flow rate would also be same. So based on that, uh, you did your mass balance here, continuity actually, A1, V1 equal to A2, V2. And then your D1 equal to D2. And finally, you got V1 equal to V2. So therefore, your this term would also get canceled. OK? This term would also yes. get canceled. And let's see what is left for you. So if you do you want to note it down? So we have. So already noted. Hello? So already noted. Yes, sir. What are you saying? So already noted. OK, fine, fine. So let's see what you have now, actually. So if you do that, so you will left with the So after that, if you will just leave this only, P1 upon rho g uh, equal to your P2 upon rho g plus this HL. OK? So from here would be P1 minus P2. Uh, uh, OK, so you can write that only. Fine. Now you should know what is the means backspace. So this is actually uh, HLM is actually you can say that uh, major head loss. So you will have two head losses, major and the minor. So we are considering the major one. Major means only because of a straight pipe length of the pipe not due to our fitting wall flanges and joints you are not considering any sort of the fittings in between you are just considering a straight pipeline just only a single pipeline from here to here so let's say this length is l12 it's have some diameter of let's say d12 d12 right because we are just noting the pipeline way so we are just giving the name in that way so you have length you have diameter so you can calculate what should be the losses only because of this friction within the pipeline something so this you can cite the expression for that is from here this is f l upon d v square upon 2g so this is the expression for uh, major head losses okay this is the 
expression. So he, here f is friction factor. Uh, L is the length of the pipe, D the diameter of pipe, V the velocity inside the pipe, and G is the gravitational constant. So if you are just writing it for pipe 1, 2, so you can write here friction in pipe 1, 2. You can write length of 1, 2, this and this. Okay? So what you know here, uh, you know the, this is the known to you, velocity, uh, means pressure p2 is unknown to you uh, you don't know what is this friction factor okay you don't know this you uh, you know the length of the pipe you know the diameter pipe velocity is unknown to you so you have now you have to see that what is the this friction here so friction actually we can calculate also and uh, we have already considered here this uh, in this problem with the laminar flow so for laminar flow, this formula of this friction is given to you. How to calculate friction factor in case of the laminar flow. So for that, your F is this 64 upon RE actually. This is the expression just to calculate the friction factor, 64 upon RE. Now how to calculate RE? RE is again your d v rho upon mu this is the expression of the renold number uh, d v rho upon mu so if you will substitute that back again into this you will get one more equations so let me erase it actually So, if you will write that, so your F is coming, this actually that 64, you have D, V, rho upon this mu will go on top. So, you can just substitute everything back into this one. And let's see what is getting, what are you getting? You have, uh, you are having this, uh, You are having this P1 upon rho G. You have P2 upon rho G. Your friction factor is from here. 64 mu upon D. So you can write, you are the, the writing for the 5, 1, 2. So you have D1, 2. You have velocity, 1, 2. You have rho. So this is your F. So you just wrote here D for diameter of pi 1, 2, D 1, 2. Velocity of pi 1, 2. So you write B 1, 2 only. Suffix, we have fixes only. Now here you have this much part again. You have L 1, 2 divided by D 1, 2. Then you have D 1, 2 square divided by 2G. So simplify this so if you will just simplify that you will get here 32 and diameter would become the square and this will just cancel this power is one more time so your equation would become that p1 upon rho g equal to p2 upon rho g and this side you are getting actually 32 this is mu and L12 and divided by you are getting here uh, rho and uh, g and diameter to the power square and here you are getting here. Are you getting this or not? So from here diameter would become twice fine uh, this velocity will cancel this particular power and then rho and d that's fine so you can write in in terms of variables here so this is known to you this is unknown uh, this 
the unknown rest of the things are known to you your, your the viscosity of the fluid is given to you density is given to you g is given to you length and diameter everything is given to you only unknown your velocity and here pressure two unknowns are there in this particular equation so if you want to write it in terms of unknowns so to keep all unknowns to one side so if you write in that way you can write here p2 upon rho g that is one unknown and the another unknown here is so if you see your uh, total problem there you have unknown p2 you have unknown p3 you have unknown p4 so three pressures right those are unknown to you so that those are not here so whatever is not here just put there zero here you don't have p3 you don't have p4 right yes or no in this equation yes, you don't have p3 you don't have p4 correct yes sir yes sir so therefore we yes, are sir. putting their coefficient zero now let's say velocities so you have there six pipelines pipe, pipe uh, one two then two three then uh, two four then three four then three five then three six so one two three four five six total are six pipes are the, there so six pipe would have the six velocities yes or no yes sir yes, right sir. so you have six pipe would be six velocity there so you have first velocity term you have here so you can write that so that is your 32 mu l12 rho g so this is known to you and this is your unknown so v12 is unknown to you rest of the velocities are zero so you can write zero of v let's say 2 3 then you have plus again to this zero of v 2 4 zero of v let's say 3 4 0 of v, let's say you have 3, 5, and 0 of v, you have 4, 5, yeah, 4, 6. Now, what is here this side? Only thing known is this to you, that is your the actually the right hand side here, which is your p1 upon rho g. So, I uh, wrote this equation because this this is what we got from the energy balance. Now I have converted this in terms of all unknowns actually. So all unknowns are for me were P2, P3, P4. P2 I already have in this. Whatever variables were not present there, I made their coefficient the zero here, but I have substituted them. Then this is from here, we, we already know. So this entire term is known to us. This we can calculate. From given data, we can calculate this. So we know this coefficient. We know the coefficient of this also, rho g. Rest of the coefficient, this velocity v23 is not present here. v24 is not present here. v34 is not present here. v35 is also not present. And v46 is also not present. So I have just made all those coefficients zeros here. Now this side is whatever is known to is we have we can make it to the means the right side here. So this this is the known to you. P one is the known to you. So that is your equation number one. Is it clear for everyone? Equation number one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So once the equation number one is clear, now we can write same way the equation number two actually, that is for pipe two, three. The pipe two, three, if you want to write for that. So if I want to convert it pipe two, three. So I am just going now from two, three actually. So here I will just write, uh, just write it here for pipe two. 
we want to write 5 2 3 so 1 will become 2 and 2 would become 3 same thing here so i will make it here 2 3 2 3 so 2 3 So I just made the change, 1 has been changed by 2 and 2 has been changed by 3 only, that's all. So that much change you can also do in your notebook. Now 2, 3, both are unknowns. So, 2 would remain uh, like that only. At the place of 3, I have now coefficient here. So, I have here the coefficient here is 1 by rho g here. This is what I have. P4, we don't have this. Now, V12 is also not present here. So, this term is 0 here. So, this is not present. So V12 is not present. So let me change this only. So V12 is not present. So 0 times of V12. V23 is present now here. We have this. So with minus sign of that. So minus of this 32 upon mu L. 2, 3 divided by rho g so this is present here so this we are taking to this side so therefore we got the minus sign here rest of the terms are not present here b24 b34 b35 is not present and this side we don't have anything now so this side is zero so this is your equation number Two. Is that fine? Yes, sir. So this yes, sir. we have wrote for pipe two three, just changing a uh, one by two and two by three. So that's what we did here. Same way we can write for pipe two four. So if you want to write it for pipe two four. So again, your 2 will remain 2, only 3 you change by 4 only. So you can write for 5, 2, 4. Three is not present. Four is present here. So you have here P four upon rho g. Now this B one two is not there. B two three is also not there. But two four is is there. So we can rewrite it. So if you want to rewrite it here, so this uh, you don't have B one two. V23 is also not there, but V24 is there, that's what you have here, it's 32, mu L24 divided by rho GD24 square V24, okay, we have rest of the terms are again not present, so that is also zero. So this is your equation number. This is your third equation for pipe two four. Is that fine? 
Yes, sir. So same way we can write for pipe. Uh, actually, your three, uh, three, four. So same way you write for pipe three, four. So if you want to write for pipe three, four, you got three here. You got this three, and this would become three. Three is present, but Two is not present, so you have here. Uh, you can change this. Just keep it this side so that your uh, pattern should not get disturbed. Actually, so you uh, your two is not present, but three is present here. B four is also present. B12 is not present, B23 is not present, B24 uh, is uh, also not present, so that is not present here. So you don't have your B24, so you don't have here B24 here, but you have B2. B34 you have here, so that you can change it here at this particular place. B34 you have this value only, so just put a minus sign here, minus of your 32 mu L34 G. Okay. So this is your four pipe three four. Is this fine? Yes, sir. So this is your equation number four. Now same thing you can write for pipe three five. So if you will write uh, want to write for pipe three five, your four will change by five. So wherever you have 4, just change it by 5. So here uh, 3 is there uh, and 4 is not there but 5 is there. So 4 you change it here. So 3 is 4 is not there but 5 is there that minus P5 upon rho j. Here you don't have this, V12, V23, V24 you don't have, uh, 3, 4 also you don't have, you have 3, 5. So this you can make it 3, 5. And just so you have 3, 5 and uh, then 3, 4 is not there. So you can make it here 0 of V3, 4. Okay? Is this fine? Yes. Now here, this P5, that P5 is the last pressure there that is given to you. So it is not actually unknown to you. It is known to you here. 
So this you can change it here. So this you can take out from here. And here your P4 is also not given. So at last you can write it here. This equation. So you have here 0 of V46. Now for you, this is known to you. This is known to you. So this you can write it in terms of P5 upon rho G. Okay? Because this, this value is the known to you. So therefore, uh, that is there on the right side. So you can write another equation actually uh, for uh, uh, this one actually. Uh, for pipe actually you are 4, 6. So same way you can write for pipe 4, 6. So 4, 6 ke liye your, uh, your 3 would become 4 and 5 would become your 6 only. So you can write for pipe 4, 6 here. So this is 4. This is 4. 6 here. 6 here, 4, 6, so you can write here 5, 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, now let's see what you have. So here P6 is also known to you. So you can write that here. P4 is uh, unknown. So P4 would come here now. So here you have 0 times of P2, 0 times of P3. And you have this P4 now here that P4 upon rho G, that is known to you. You don't have V1, to, uh, here you also write it here. You don't have V1, 2, V2, 3, V2, 4, 3, 4, you don't have, 3, 5, which also don't have. So you have 4, 6 now. So you have here, uh, 3, 4 is also not there. 3, 5 is also not there. 0 times of B. 1. But you have here 4, 6. OK. Fine? Yes, sir. So these are uh, your equations for uh, by doing energy balance. So energy balance you did, you got six equations, and then you have what number of unknowns are nine, actually. You can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine unknowns are there. Equations are six. So now you will apply your something you left with your mass balance. Energy balance you did. Now one thing is called mass balance. So let's write mass balance for uh, each and every point. Because uh, we have to do that part. So is this fine till this particular point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's write mass balance for pi 1 or 2, we, we already did. This is for 1 and 2. So we can write whatever mass is coming in and same thing would go out. That's called, it's called mass conservation only. So you can write mass is density uh, and uh, into your volumetric flow rate. Same thing here. 
and then you can write it here volumetric flow rate is called area into velocity so this is what you are getting from here density is getting cancelled area is this only pi by 4 d1 square b1 and again pi by 4 d2 square b2 so from here you will get the relation for actually your uh, v1 equal to let's say d2 upon d1 square so in this case your diameter is same so d1 equal to d2 so you got a relation your v1 equal to v2 this is for your mass balance for pipe 1 2 same way we can write mass balance for pipe 2 3 what is happening from 1 and 2 uske baad kya ho hai? after that it's going this way so what is happening here if you are um, applying your mass balance at junction 2 apply mass balance at junction 2 well, let's see what is happening there So what is happening at point two, mass is coming from this side. And it is getting divided into two pipelines, a pipeline two three and pipeline two four. So we have to balance that how much is going. So in that case, whatever mass is coming from one, it is getting the divided into three part. Mass is going into three, and mass is going into four. Or you can say that uh, right that's is this fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The mass is yes, coming sir. from one, it is getting divided into two parts. One is getting in pipeline two, three, other is getting pipeline two, four. So that's what we wrote here, that three and four here. So, or you can say mass is coming pipe one, two is going here, two, three here is going to a uh, two, four. That is much. So you can write for that density is constant, you can write in terms of flow rate now. So flow rate here, whatever you are getting A1, V1 would be equal to here A23, V23 and here again you get A24, V24. Is this fine till here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, do you have the another class or you are free? Free, yes, sir. Free, okay, sir. fine. So this we can write. Now we can write uh, means expression for these areas here. So area of 1 is pi by 4, d1 square v1. Here you have uh, pi by 4, let's say d12 we are putting here. Here you have D23 square and V23 and here again you have pi by 4, D24 square. So this is your another means equation. You have here three unknowns here. You have here three unknowns. You have V1, V23, V24. The rest of the unknowns are not present. So you can write this equation. You have 0 times of P2 here, 0 times of P3 here, 0 times of P4 here. You don't have all these pressures here. V12 you have, so you have here your pi by 4, D12 square into V12, you have that. V23 also you have there, you can put a minus sign here. V24 also have, so you have here pi by 4, V24 square. Further velocity you don't have there, so you have here 0 times of V34. 0 times of V, 3, 5, 
जीरो टाइम्स ऑफ बी फोर सिक्स तो दिस इज योर इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन एक्चुअली सिक्स यू ऑलरेडी गॉट दिस इज योर सेवन तो इक्वेशन this has come only from here here i have added all other variables which are also not present here by making their coefficient zero is that fine yes sir yes sir right so same way uh, this part is completed now you can have uh, till this here so here you have a junction point here you also have a junction point so let's do for that now you have uh, again go to your pipeline there 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay now come back to this point here Let's say junction three. We want to do our mass balance at junction three. What is happening at three? This flow rate is coming in. So whatever is coming in, this m two three. Now it is getting divided into three two parts. One is into is going for three four. One is going to three five. So we can just change it for m two three. is going to now 3 4 and going to now here 3 5 is that fine yes sir so what yes, sir. Is, is coming at point 3 is coming at mass flow rate 2 3 is getting divided into mass flow rate of in 3 uh, pipe number 3 4 and pipe number 3 5 is that fine yes sir so we can write same way so uh, we just change it here so this would be your 2 3 your 2 3 here you have 3 4 3 4 3 5 and you have 3 5 2 so you have here three four three four three five three five now let's write so you don't have places here uh you have uh, these two values uh, last is not present so v23 is present 12 is not present so you can make it zero so v12 is not present and uh, this is also not present 24 is also not present so v12 is not present just put there zero times of v12 v23 is present there so you have here so you have here pi by 4 d 23 square v23 v24 uh, is not also is not present just put that also v24 then Two four is complete. Now you have uh, B three four. You have here, so you can put a minus sign here. So zero of uh, no. You have pi by four and D three four square V three four V three five is also present. You have minus of 
putih D56 is not present, so you just multiply here. Okay, so this is your equation number 8. Yeah, yeah, this is your equation number 8. Uh, sir, it should be V46 at last, not 56. Uh huh, sorry. Okay? Yes, sir. So this is your equation number eight. Same way we can write your energy, uh, means mass balance at junction four. So if you write for junction four, change it for four here. So your three would, uh, uh, junction four, your mass is coming from pipeline two. This is coming from two also, this is coming from three also, and it's going to six. So these two lines are coming in. And this is going out, so this need to be changed for that. So this, if you will write at junction four, so you are getting here mass flow rate of two four plus mass flow rate of three four is going to mass flow rate of 4, 6. This is what you have. These two are uh, coming in and this is going out here. So you can write for that. So you have area of 2, 4, velocity of 2, 4, area of 3, 4, velocity of 3, 4. Then you have area of 4, 6, velocity of 4, 6 substitute their areas so area is 5 by 4 d to 4 square v to 4 then again 5 by 4 d 3 4 square v 3 4 then again 5 by 4 D46 square V46. Now you can write them. So you don't have 0. So 0 times of P2, 0 times of P3, 0 times of P4. V2 you also don't have. So 0 times of V12. Then 0 times of 2, 3 also not there. V2, 3. Then V2, 4 is there. You have here. So you have here 5 by 4. D2, 4 square. V2, 4. Then uh, 2, 4 is there. Then uh, you have uh, here uh, 2, 4, okay. then you have 2, 3. So first we can write 2, 3 not there. Then uh, 2, 3 not there. Then you have uh, 3, 4. 3, 4 is present here. So you have their plus here. 5 by 4. D3, 4 square, you have 3, 4, uh, 3, 5 is not there, so you can put 0. Then you have 4, 6, so 4, 6 is also present. So uh, 3, 4 is with 3, 5 is not there. Four six is there, so you have there, 5 by 4, D. 4, 6 square equal to 0. So this is your equation number 9. Okay? Yes, sir. Right. So once you have all these equations, then after that uh, you can uh, 
we have already wrote in terms of matrices. Uh, so let's see how your matrix will look like. So if you write that, so now you can see your uh, matrix thing. Uh, you can see your uh, screen now. So hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in that case, if you will see your uh, Equation here, so if you solve this and finally you will get all the equations. Now, this is what I have to change this galaxy. In this So this is how your uh, final matrix will look like actually. Okay, you have all the unknowns P2, P3, P4, V12, V23, V24, V34, 35 and 46. So here you write coefficient of all. So therefore we wrote in every equation, we wrote every coefficient. So that at later on you should not have any confusion that what is happening there. Okay. So there in first equation you have only P2 and uh, your uh, your V12. Rest of the things were zero and that side you know the one tracer was not given. P1 was given to you. Okay. There uh, something. Uh, is I think uh, uh, that row term, uh, row G term has been cancelled out because row G was present everywhere on left and right. Therefore, you don't have here one upon row G here also. Here also you don't have the row G. And this side also you don't have one upon row G here because that got cancelled. It was present left and right row. Okay. So you wrote this as equation two, then this uh, second row is equation number uh, two only, then third row is equation number three, then equation number four, then five, then six. Last three equations are from your mass balances, which we wrote just now. So those are your equations seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so that way you will get your matrix. Now you have, uh, these are your simultaneous algebra equations. Nine equations you have here, fortunately. And uh, you have to solve it by any techniques, just like uh, your uh, Gauss elimination, your Gauss Jordan, uh, Gauss Jordan, Gauss elimination, right? You have those two are analytical techniques. Analytical technique, you have also other one also, your LU decomposition also. So that is the another one. So you can solve it by any of those methods, whichever you feel comfortable. Then you have your iterative techniques also, your Gauss-Seidel, your Gauss-Jacobi, and uh, successive uh, over-relaxation, right? SOR. So this is uh, equation that from here you learn that how to formulate it because uh, in uh, master's level and sometimes real life problems, uh, nobody is going to you that equations ready made actually. You have to think, you have to make from your problems. Okay, so this uh, you need to solve if you are comfortable to solve it by hand you can solve it by hand if not comfortable you can write it by your matlab code or any program whichever you feel comfortable okay sir okay yes sir 
Yes, sir. So, how is your uh, this programming thing is going on? Sir, sir, uh, gave up.